If your pool pump gets too hot, it can actually start on fire, but more commonly it will just trip the electrical breaker. And that's probably what you've discovered is that your swimming pool pump runs really hot and periodically turns off the electric breaker. So what's happening is, is that uh, the current that the pump is using is generating heat and that heat uh, creates uh, resistance in the electrical windings. And as the heat increases, the resistance increases. When the resistance increases, the amount of uh, heat that's generate, generated also increases. So it's basically a, a downward spiral cycle until such time as the pump motor actually fails and breaks. Uh, this can be from a uh, lifelong uh, installation that was incorrect that overworks the pump uh, or it could be from a single event where maybe the pump was run dry and everything overheated. Uh, what happens inside the electric motor is that there's a grease in between the electric windings and if the uh, grease can overheat and melt away then some of the windings start to short together and the end result is this makes the pump draw even more current which creates even more heat uh, which makes the cycle uh, even worse, even faster. Um, the end result is if you have a pump that is overheating and tripping the electric breaker, uh, or even if it's just overheating now but it hasn't started tripping the breaker yet, it probably will soon. And what that means for your pool pump is replacement. Uh, you can either replace the electric motor component itself if the wet end is still fairly new and in fairly good condition, or you can just look at replacing the entire pump altogether.